Hey guys and welcome to the vlog. It just occurred to me that I don't think I've ever showed you guys our girl Harlow and she has been such a great animal for us, especially with Brooklyn as well and I'm actually outside playing with her right now so let's have a look. Here's the gorgeous girl here. What are you doing? Come here. Hello darling. Yeah. So she's a she's a Rottweiler and I've always loved Rottweilers as you know, the last few years has sort of been a, a good standout point to where I wanted to have an, a dog in <laughs> and she's she's such a glutz but it's great to have a dog again and it's it's good for Brooklyn as well because she absolutely loves Harlow and, and she's a great family pet as well so I think I might have a play with her for a bit and then, then I'll get into the uh, the other snake stuff. <laughs> So now back to snake stuff, which, you know, I do love talking about all animals, but I did promise that we'd touch on the spotted python, so I will get to that in, in the next few minutes. I just wanted to give you another update on the Woma pythons as they have finally shed. So that is a great, great thing to happen. And it seems like they've done a bit of a role reversal and the shy one is now a bit feisty and the feisty one is now shy. And it's a bit strange, but since they've shed, they've, come out and brightened up in color and even the one that I thought was absolutely fantastic has sort of lost a lot of that striping down the back and it's strange and it, it is very feisty <laughs> so I'll get them out and show you a bit of what they're like and hopefully I don't get bitten in the process but they are only tiny so I shouldn't hurt too much <laughs> so this one here is the first one to hatch and that was the lighter pattern one and it seems like it's kept that lighter pattern and sort of more of a standout animal now and it's a, there's a lot more orange in the head which is just looking good and obviously it's shine out which i'm a bit confused as they've sort of roll reversed but that's all right you know you, you cop bites from these guys because they're just so inquisitive and they just don't know what you are yet so I'll get the other one out because it just really, really wants to say hello. But again, you know, with, with regular handling, these guys will be fine. It's just a matter of getting them to know that, look, we're not going to hurt you. We just want to have a look, have a little bit of a play, and then back, back in the enclosure you go. So we'll see how this guy is. See, this is the one that I thought was absolutely fantastic and it's lost a bit of the, the striping on the pattern and sort of gained a lot of black in the eyes and on the nose as well and he's very inquisitive so I might try and feed them at the end of this week and see how we go but again they, these patterns will change a lot when they shed so it's it's a matter of waiting until they're a bit older to see their actual true pattern but I'm happy with the results and these two will eventually go to their new homes to someone that absolutely loves pythons as much as I do. So I'll get these guys put away and move on to the spot of pythons as I promised in the last vlog. Alright guys, so on to spotted pythons now and these are obviously my most exciting breeding project for the 2018 season. And I bought these guys back in 2016 from a reputable breeder in New South Wales and has he has produced many, uh, the albino spotted pythons. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what these guys can pump out next season. And uh, as you guys may or may not know, these are from the genus uh, Anteresia and these this specific python, spotted python, is Anteresia maculosa. And there is a few other pythons in that gene is including the pygmy python, the stimson python and the children's python and they all are quite small especially the pygmy python which is actually the, one of the smallest if not the smallest python in Australia and I think maybe even uh, globally as well uh, and these guys typically are found in the, the far north part of Queensland all the way down through the southeast part of Queensland and of course in the New South Wales area as well. And typically these guys are found in Rock, uh, Rockhampton area and around there. And this is one of ours here. And I've, obviously it's gained a lot of size since then. And 
I'm looking forward to being able to breed these guys because these guys are absolutely fantastic. They're, they're quite small, but as a small python, you still have to obviously be cautious when it comes to owning a first snake, especially with, you know, children's python are, are not for children. It's, it's a matter of making sure that you can, you know the python and be able to read it as much as possible. So that's one thing that I'm looking forward to this uh, this coming season anyway. We've only, we only did the Womers uh, this season just to keep it slow, steady and build up our females for, for the next season. So I thought, show you these guys while I'm while I'm here and give you a bit of an update a bit of a description on where they're from and and all that sort of stuff and I hope you enjoyed that part of it so guys just before I go I just wanted to let you know that I did go on a night trip last night with uh, a good friend Chelsea from Medusa's Monsters I actually went up to Springbrook National Park and we were there in pitch black total darkness it was quite quite full-on it was freaky even but it was pretty cool to be out there at night and see all the wildlife and, and what it's like at night it's completely different to, to when I went back when when I went during around lunchtime I think I went last time and the views were absolutely breathtaking and it was it was good to be out there with someone different and you know talk reptiles for for a few hours and you know, freak out about a couple of things, and I, there was a certain leaf that may have startled me <laughs> from from that. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. There's a bit of an educational part in there, which is which is I hope is what you want. Uh, let let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. We've got a few trips coming up, uh, just small ones, maybe maybe a few more night ones that I might actually try and get on film get a get a better light for it and go from there but as always don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and that notification bell i hope you enjoy your weekend and i will see you next week until then